Following you to the other side. Yeah. What's that? Hit my thing on my jaw. Hit him in the jaw. Go hit him in the jaw. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Come on, I got to see that screw. <laughs> Couple screws. Yeah, he don't need but one damn screw in it, really. If he's going like that, he put a screw in, start it, rock on down with about see it, Paul. Huh? I said, you can about see it. Yeah, I can. You liking that? Huh? Let me see you see this 
Hey, look. Wow. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Only until I put something in it. Hey. Straighten it right out, won't you, Bert? Uh huh? Straighten it right out. Just, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Right there. In the hair. Yep. In the hair. Out of here. Yep. Alright. Wrapped out with some beautiful white metal. You're gonna go right to it. Right till it butts it. Like I told him, I don't know how much of that I'll have to change. That, when we get there, we'll figure that out. 81 and a half. Hey, that's a common number. Yep. 81 and a half, 81 and a half. Yeah, baby. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. Yep. Imagine one person and all that weight standing in that one spot. Yeah. Yeah, don't try it without the plywood. Be in the living room. Shouldn't we be, uh, Rained. I forgot. Yeah, and he had a freaking pond in the back of his truck. No, it rained hard coming across that bridge, dude. It did rain. <laughs> Only if you let him. This is a temporary lay. Tomorrow it will get glued down. I'm good on my side. Beautiful. Hold out another piece. It would be a six inch seam right here. Six inch seam. We could make these things go down here without seams, but try to carry that rubber up on a piece onto a mobile home. I can't carry 500 pounds. Can you? The whole piece probably weighs about 500. And there's no way I can carry 500 pounds if I put one piece. So we break them down. Even if I had a young strapper, strapping guy he wouldn't be able to carry anything like that sound like an airplane taking off
ladder. Yeah, that's more right. That's about right. That's actually pretty close to six. All right, so we end up running a little bit short. <clears throat> so no big deal, we'll bring another piece back tomorrow. We're just clamping this thing down for the night. Call it a day. Tomorrow we'll come back, tear this off, fix any uh, wood we have to do back here. Just figure out what's gotta be done for a face on this. I think he's gonna pick up some insulation to try to put in here. This looks like it's pretty thick. So we got two more days for this. Chris over there, he's gonna leave. Today's his last day up here on this one. He's heading out of town. We're gonna get rid of this here. It's gonna go completely. There's a stove down there, but they're getting rid of all of it. Um, this is pretty, basically just a flat roof porch. It's been leaking forever and they have, this is what you call torch down. I'm sure there's a lot of fans out there of torch down. I've never been a fan of Torchtown. One thing I will say that I'm a little bit worried about is squirrels, because that looks like squirrels chewing, scratching and chewing. Normally, this wouldn't bother. Pretty thick stuff, what do we got here? It looks like it might be, it is. It's just one layer of Torchtown. But boy, we're gonna try to get this stuff up. That might be a nightmare. Oh, well, that's what we'll find out tomorrow.